Hello and uh, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman and um, today we're continuing our playthrough in Ermex Domain. Or, sorry, Ermex Para something. Uh, I, I, I'm not really so much trying to be funny here, but this Para X, Para Zoom, I just don't know what goes here. I don't, I don't know how to know what goes here. Anyway, um, let's Zoom the map in. We don't need a full picture. And unpause our Commodore 64. And. Oh, right. I was trying to restore my Sorcerer's Site. What goes here? But, uh. We don't have that. We don't have Sorcerer's Site because this entire interior region, like all of this space, seems to be filled with odd. I'm not actually checking. I'm I'm just kind of giving up, or maybe I shouldn't give up because um, I don't want to save my game. I want to cast a spell, uh, sorcerer sight. Because odd doesn't actually turn off your detection entirely; it just makes it crap. So you can still detect spells, sorry, uh, traps and such. Anyway, um, let's go exploring. And I went here and here. And north, north, west. Heading to the east. One, two, three. We get invited by someone or other to have them join my party, to which I say no. I will leave you in peace. But these 13 tin men, I will kill. And for disarming that swindler, I receive a familiar figurine, which I think is actually useful. The tongue shield is not useful. It's making me think of tongue ting tea. Um, it's fancy oolong, I don't know, whatever, that's what I'm into. But let's drop it because this is not tea. This is just a shield that I can't use because three of my people who use shields already have them. And one of them... Oh wait, do we already have uh, familiar figurines on all my casters? Lillian... does not have one. I'm gonna have her drop that soothing balm. It's just a heal spell. And pass this familiar figurine on over to her. Also, let's drop this shade lance. As before, only need two of these. Um, and the black arrows, I couldn't get to land on anything, so getting rid of those two. Did I dis... did I dis... unequip anything. Disequip. No, it looks like familiar, the familiar figurine is just... bonus. Okay. Um... Looking to the south... whoop. Looking to the south, we see what we expect. So, I'm gonna go back and continue to the east. And then start... well now. Uh, start uh, poking around up here in these, um, I want to call them, like, crenellations, or merlons, or merlions, or whatever you call them, but those are the tops of castle walls, and they bump in and out too, but they do not bump out like this. Pretty uneventful over here on the edge of the uh, edge of this inside space. I haven't seen the door into this plus space yet. So we went over here, and over here, and 
I guess I'm facing here now. And as I turn south and face south, well, I got attacked. I guess I'll draw the other stuff later. So I will say that was the first time I've seen or that I've noticed that enemy enemies, non me, other people went before my rogue. I'm used to the rogue always, Alina, always going first. And that was not the case there, so I guess I'm not going to be able to rely on that permanently. Okay, so here, here, here. I found the door into this space. And I found a bunch of stuff I'm going to kill. I'm just stopping to get rid of this shrill, shrill flute that I don't need. Okay, so I've made a mistake. Is that right? Or not really a mistake? A mistake at all. I was just thinking I'd mismapped in case that business about mistake wasn't clear. here, and I stepped over here, and on the way back, I can see these walls. Okay, so, barring any amazing treasure, I'm going to, well, first, renew my magic compass. Then, um, I'm going to just step over here compulsively. Oh my goodness, is it another fight? I think I'm skipping this one. Yeah, I'm skipping this one. Anyway, too small a group. And we're going to go into this little plus space and probably encounter something bad. Some kind of bad status. Oh, the bad status here is darkness, which is, you know, frankly, not that bad. I know you can't see what I'm doing, what I just did was go up here, then over here, and then over here. And then I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave that little area. And all of its exciting darkness. Uh let's sweep around this way. So over two down two and tuck into the lee of one of the pluses I haven't explored. Okay, now come around this side. East to... South down the gap. Check out the alcove. Check out the other alcoves. Okay, so basically what I did here was go over here. I'm updating the map, obviously. Well, maybe not entirely obviously, but whatever, it's what I'm doing. And um, on the way, I could see this business. Okay, so now I came here. And this group is big enough, I will kill them. Double gem, double gem. Should start using them. I will use one right now. Used. Okay. Looking north, we can see this wall exists. Um, I have a feeling like I don't know. 
Is we're gonna open left too? Like, I thought they were gonna be center words, like up, down, down, up, or something. Maybe left, but that's not true. They're just sort of whichever way they want to be. Wait, what? That is not what I expected. I went up to north to rather, and I turned, and I thought I would see like a big open space because there would be a gap between these two pluses. That's not what happened. I found a wall right here. I've stepped here. And yes. Uh, so what can I see to the north? That might be informative. Or expected. the end and I think I got I thought I got stuck but uh I thought it was like loading a combat which is why I stopped talking and well there's my combat so I have this perception that the one non plus location is um going to be where the level has its conclusion, whatever that is. So as a result, I'm avoiding it. I want to kind of finish exploring everywhere else. go into this. I think this area is going to be like all silence. Yeah, silence. Silence. And load combat. And I'm not going to fight them with a the handicap of being silenced. Probably win anyway, but I don't know. It just feels cheap. I don't know. I guess if I felt like it was any point to the fight at all, I would be like, okay, whatever, it's a challenge, but I feel like it's just going to be a slightly less efficient fight with um, no particular bonus, benefit, whatever, words. So, in short, we, I just went around here. Uh, I guess we'll go west first, then south, then east, west, southeast. Then turn around, let's fill in this area. I still, I guess I still don't know what's in here. Can I find out by casting Sorcerer's Sight for a second? Nope. And it's, it's 
Maybe it's just nothing. Maybe there's just nothing in the center plus. No, no benefit and no penalty. It's possible. And if so, it would make me feel be much better about having no freaking idea. It could be spinners. I'm running away. Screw this. I'll fight the next one because I've put off too many fights. And this is just sort of a promise to myself to keep gaining experience points. Okay, um... I don't know what I did in the main game, but in my mapping software I meant to do this. I guess I just turned. This set of pluses, I also don't know what's in here. 158, 158... Okay, so this is spell point regen. And I'm not gonna... I'm gonna be really lazy and assume it's the same for all of them, because that seems to be the theme of level. Also because in none of the squares could I detect anything easily, so if it's something drastically different, it's not something that's super important to know about because it's not something bad that happens to me. Uh, done with label, move avatar. Okay, what else have we got left? Nothing, except for this middle space. Okay. I'm fine with that. Huh, a death hammer. I feel like I've already found one of those. And it was not nearly as cool as I thought it should be for having that name. But we'll find out more later. Okay, so now we've gotten to this portal down, which I think was like the only thing to find in this whole level. Um, we get through the open portal, you see a viscous, bubbling liquid, the color of pine pitch. So we went down to reach this level, and I think we're going to go down again, or we are going down again. And there's something weird down there. Uh, I'm going to just take a little peek. Uh, so here's the down button, we're down to basement number two, below the castle. What is the down... I think it's W to go down? Uh, and we immediately receive a descriptive message for this new level. Uh, which I don't... which I want to capture as a note, not a label. The thick amber liquid soaks through your clothing and chills your flesh. You fight against the smothering sensation as it seals your nostrils off and blink as the fluid stings your eyes. I'm not going to try to figure this out. I'm going to say next time you can see us continue to adventure in the viscous plain while we figure out what the heck is going on down here. Or run away. See you then.